Hey guys, welcome back. We have an upper body workout for you to do. We're gonna set 20 minutes on the clock. This first four minutes we're gonna use just to get our shoulders warm. So wherever you're at, make sure you have some space around you. And we're gonna do for one minute, just some forward arm circles. And actually let's go forward for 30 seconds. And then we're gonna go backwards for 30 seconds. Nice, just checking in with your shoulders, seeing how you guys are feeling. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day and we're ready to get our upper body strong. We got six different movements today and we're gonna cycle through that two times. But don't worry, we have a minute break between those two sets. All right, let's go backwards. Big arms reaching up all the way back. If you feel that your shoulders are feeling kind of crunchy, don't be too aggressive with this stretch. Just kind of feel it out. Just warming up the shoulders. I know a lot of us are sitting at a desk, typing away, working hard. And so this is our chance to take care of our shoulders, take, our, uh, take care of our posture, get our arms strong, upper body feeling nice and warm today. Two, one, awesome. Let's go ahead and with our feet comfortably underneath our hips, slight bend in the knees. We're just gonna reach for the floor and then go ahead and give me one pull Pinch your shoulder blades back, keep your head neutral, reach down, and then stand. We're gonna do that for another 45 seconds. Reach down, slight bend of the knees, keep your back flat as you pull your elbows back, arms straight, and stand. Nice job, guys. In this horizontal position, it's a little different to think about maintaining a flat back. It's good practice though. Nice, let's get another 10 seconds. Nice, last one, just for good measure. Awesome, okay guys, so you're gonna brace your hand across your abs on this side, uh, left hand on my stomach, and then I'm gonna raise my right arm to the side, bring it right back down. I'm gonna try to initiate that movement using those strong muscles in my shoulder and coming right back down, all the way out to the side. So not out in front of you, you don't have to throw your arm back behind you, just off to the side. Awesome. You guys got it. Let's get another 10 seconds. Just warming up the shoulder. Super simple stuff, right? Nothing too complicated. Just working these various ranges for our shoulder. Okay, let's try the other side. Brace down so you're not excessively leaning back. We're just gonna raise the left arm to the side now. Super simple stuff. Four minute warm up. Guys, 10 seconds. You got it. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, last one here, guys. Feet underneath the hips. Just gonna pull your elbows up, bring your hands up, and reach. Elbows to the side, point your arms down, bring them back up, and reach. If you do this with weight, this is called the Cuban press but we're just gonna work that internal rotation of the shoulder here on the way down, and then external on the way up. Let's get another 30 seconds, and then we'll call it there for our warm up. My shoulders are feeling pretty warm right now, <laughs> and we haven't even gotten to the workout yet. It's probably a good sign, right? Nothing too crazy. Shoulders feeling hot. So like I mentioned guys, we have six movements and then we have a one minute rest station and we're just gonna move through this two rounds. The work rest intervals today is 45 seconds of work. Go ahead and rest guys. 15 seconds of rest, that makes one minute. So we have those six minutes of work, minute of rest and we're gonna go through that two times. Let's do the first movement together here in 20 seconds and I'm gonna talk through it on this first set 
And you guys go ahead and join me, okay? The first movement is a single arm high pull. So today I'm gonna use a 15 pound dumbbell, whatever weight you have at home that you feel is appropriate, you can totally use. Ready? And it's gonna look just like this, just like you're zipping up a jacket. We wanna control the weight on the way down. And the tempo, I want you guys to try and think about, and we're gonna do 30 seconds on this side, is if it takes you one second to pull your elbow up towards the sky and raising the shoulder or raising the weight up with your shoulder, then I want you to take two seconds coming down. So one second to pull, two seconds coming down. All right, let's do one more. Awesome, let's try the other side. One second up, two seconds down. I personally like to always start on my weak side, but you guys can start with any side you side, um, you're comfortable with. Looks totally good. Simple arm high pull. This is kind of a different pulling exercise. Typically we think about downward pulling or horizontal pulling, like pulling this way towards you. <clears throat> but this one's a little different, single arm high pulls. Cool guys. Next, let's do a bend over row. So with your feet underneath your hips, you're gonna lean over 30 seconds on one side. Good. Again, control on the way up and down. And over row. And any weight you have that you feel is appropriate, you can totally use. Let's try the other side. Ten seconds. And rest. Nice job, guys. Let's make our way down to the floor onto our mat. And the first movement is a shoulder tap. The way I'm going to set this up is we're just going to rest our knees down and you're going to touch your hand to your shoulder. We're just gonna alternate back and forth. One minute here. We've already started, so you guys have about 30 seconds. And one thing to focus on is to make sure you're bracing with your core. We don't want your hip dropping down too much. And after these shoulder taps, we're already halfway through our first set. 10 more seconds, guys. Squeeze down on your stomach when you go to lift your hand up. That support is gonna come from your core. Nice, guys. All right, let's move to a knee push-up. So I'm gonna move my hands out just a little bit. I'm gonna rest my chest on the floor and now reach your arms out in front. Bring them back and a push. Nice. So this is a knee push-up with a superman reach. About 30 more seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Nice guys. Okay. Flip over onto our back. This next movement is a tricep extension. I'm gonna set up like a sit up. I'll hold my weight here. So with my feet flat on the floor, I'm gonna reach my arm all the way up. And then from here, I'm gonna bend my elbow and extend. And let's do 30 seconds on each side. Ready and begin. So 
So you want to keep the elbow perpendicular to the floor. And you don't want your elbow to drop down just for this exercise. Other side. Make sure you safely transfer the weight to the other side. You don't necessarily have to do it how I just did. Good. And you'll feel this in the back of your arms, guys. Tricep extension. It's an easy way to do this, especially when we're used to maybe using the cable machine at the gym. So if you guys are working out from the comfort of your home, trying some exercise movements in these different planes is a good way to make up for maybe the loss of machines or your access to a gym. Okay, for the pullover, this is our sixth exercise. Make sure you're holding the dumbbell tightly. I'm just gonna reach back until the dumbbell touches the floor and then come right back over the center. Reach back, keep your shoulders engaged, your lats will fire, and my feet are still in that push-up position. Nice job, guys. Let's get 10 more seconds here. And rest. Good job, guys. All right, you can sit up. We're gonna take a minute break. Okay, comment down below. Do you love training your upper body or your lower body more? Which one do you like doing more? If you like training your lower body more, good on you for getting it in today for your upper body. Let's start together in 20 seconds. That's the top of my clock here. And we got one more time through, okay? So we're gonna start with those single arm high pulls. If you wanna use a different weight, you absolutely can. And we're just working on that upward pull on the single side. I'm gonna start on my left arm again. Here we go in three, two, one, and begin. 30 seconds on each side, so that'll make a minute, or you can switch sides in like 22-ish seconds. There's no wrong way to do it, guys. You're here, you're following along at home, or wherever you're at, and you're winning. Every rep you're doing, it's like putting money in the bank. You're betting on yourself, getting yourself strong, building up that resiliency for a post-pandemic world. We're all headed towards there, guys. So we gotta stay focused on making sure, if anything, we're controlling the things that we can control, like our health and wellness, our physical, mental well-being, physical exercise, activities that leave us feeling good. All that is extremely important. Nice guys, that's a minute. Let's go on to our bent over row. I'm gonna do 30 seconds on each side again. But of course, as the workout's written, you can do 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, just split up that 45 seconds between your left and right sides. Two, one, nice, switch sides. You can brace the other hand on your leg. Myself personally, I always like to keep my hand off of my leg because it reminds me to keep my back straight on my own, using my core and back muscles, but of course, any way that you feel is appropriate for you, you absolutely can make that change. Okay, shoulder taps, alternating for a minute. Good 
And you don't have to do this from your knees. If you're more advanced, you can absolutely do it from your feet. Just make sure you're not rocking your hips side to side too much. About 20 more seconds. Think about engaging the core as you go to pick up your hand. Three, two, one. All right. Chest to the ground. Reach your arms out. Bring your arms back. And a push. Knee push up to a Superman reach. Make sure as you guys go to lower your body down and up that your core stays engaged. Okay, again, you don't want your low back to feel all that extension. You wanna stay in that plank position. 30 more seconds. Nice work, guys. Coming up on our last two movements we're gonna do from our back. And the tricep extension, coming up. All right, let's do it, guys. Last two movements here. Tricep extension, clock is going right into it. I have my other hand bracing on the floor. Can't see it because it's on my right side, but I'm actively pushing down against the floor, with my right arm. Nice, I'm gonna switch sides now. It's 30 seconds for me on each side. So I'm gonna brace down with my left hand now. And that's kind of a uh, tactile cue to make sure that my entire body is staying engaged, that there's tension. Three, two, one, pullovers, guys. Last one. Reach all the way over and back. So as you go to bring the dumbbell behind your head, please make sure that you're keeping your core bracing so that your low back does not overextend too much. And do your best to keep your arms straight. That way these lats are working, staying engaged. Ten more seconds, guys. One. And rest. Nice job, you guys. Good work. So today we we're able to get six exercise stations, all focusing on our shoulders, our arms, both pressing and pulling motions. And we took that minute break and we repeated for two total sets. If you guys have the time and the endurance and you'd like to do more, absolutely you can. Just follow this routine and maybe extend it out for another set, maybe two. But of course, if you're just starting with us, no need to push beyond that right now. Like this video, subscribe, save the video so you guys can go back and revisit it and maybe try it with a little bit more weight. Maybe try uh, extending out the time that you're doing this workout. You guys did a fantastic job. Comment down below. Let me know if you loved doing upper body workouts. We'd love to give you guys some more things to do at home from the safety and comfort of your home. Thanks for joining us. DH Fitness, empowering you and our communities for that post-pandemic world and have a fantastic day. We'll, get, we'll see you guys soon.